So Armored Core 6 rocks for a whole mess of reasons, but the one I want to talk about today is the music. If you haven't played Armored Core 6, it sounds a little bit like this. But there's one key component to this score that I think makes it so special, and makes it perfect as the underscore for Fires of Rubicon. These are the sounds of machines. If you've seen our Homeworld video, you'll know that I love British progressive rock band Yes, particularly their Relayer album from 1974. The first track on the B side of Relayer is a bombastic wall of sound titled Sound Chaser, and it goes a little bit like this. The title of the song fits perfectly, as it seems like at every moment the band is trying to catch up with themselves, hurtling headlong through the composition at ridiculous speeds. In 2013, Yes! late drummer Alan White revealed a little bit about the songwriting inspirations behind Sound Chaser, saying that Yes! was trying to sound like a manual shift car, constantly changing gears and speeds. And this quote popped into my head a lot as I was playing through Armored Core 6. The soundtrack of Fires of Rubicon is distinctly mechanical. Every track reverberates with the sonic inspirations of powerful machines. An ascending synth, the roar of a jet engine, percussive drum beats ring like firing pistons, the pulsing of keys evokes the rhythm of idling engines revving up, occasionally shifting meter and pitch as the machine moves, even sometimes slipping toward atonality with the other instruments. By composing and arranging the music this way, composers Kota Hashino, Shoi Miyazawa, and Shikashi Onodera give an extra layer of life to the mix of Armored Core 6, as though perhaps the music itself is a living machine, evoking not just a feeling of symbiosis between the music and the machines of Rubicon, but also weaving additional meaning into the themes of Armored Core. So let's just take a listen to a couple of the tracks so you can see what I'm talking about. So the main theme, which you'll remember from the initial Armored Core 6 reveal trailer, is in 7, which is interesting because most popular Western music is in 4 or 3. 3-4, three, of course, being the meter of a waltz. 1-2-3, 1-2-3, and 4-4, four, four, you know, 1-2-3. Boom, one, two, three, four. It's all cyclical and steady and easy to follow. But by having the main theme of Armored Core be in seven, whereas you can imagine if it were in four, four, you know, bar of four and a bar of four equals eight. You do it in seven, you're dropping a beat off. So it gives it this kind of propulsive, always forward moving kind of feel. You can't stop and fall into the cyclical rhythm of it, even though it is still quite cyclical, but it has this advancing kind of forward motion to it because most people are used to hearing four and so suddenly when it's one beat less we're pulled toward the end of the phrase just kind of hurtling through the music unstoppable we could say just like raven it just really has just this driving forward motion it's so good but then similarly, the recurring mini-boss theme, track 10, Unbreakable, in the Armored Core 6 soundtrack, is in 5, and has a similar then forward motion, because like 7 is dropping one beat off the end of a 2-bar-4 phrase, 5 is dropping one beat off of 3 or 6. <laughs> This too, the kind of the bendy synth in the background has this feeling of, you know, pressing your foot on the gas and rushing forward towards an enemy. Just an engine powering through the battle. Great stuff. And even apart from that, we have a lot of different genre inspirations across this soundtrack. We've got these very percussion-heavy, kind of rock-inspired moments, like high pressure. We have a little bit of what I feel is evoking Daft Punk's Tron soundtrack in the track Sea Weapon. And then Destroy the Worm comes from this very kind of military influence, ace combat, top gun kind of feel. And then the track Rough and Decent is just straight up jazz.
and arguably the most popular track from the soundtrack is from the notorious Balteus fight. The track is called Contact With You, and unlike the main theme or the mini boss theme, this one is in four. So it has a very steady, very cyclical, very kind of hypnotic motion to it. And you'll hear in the background, there's a bit of electronic percussion that's just steady on the beat the whole time. And as I was listening to this song with my brother, an amazingly talented musician, and telling him kind of my theory about, oh, it's machines making the music. He was like, that sounds like helicopter rotors. It's got the same kind of feeling, the same air in between the beats of helicopter rotors. And the rhythmic kind of pulsing synth keys as well have that same kind of cyclical motion to them. And I think that's got to be a deliberate choice because the Balteus fight, even though Balteus is not a helicopter, he does kind of fly around the battlefield hovering as though you can imagine there are big rotors attached to him, keeping him in any one place at any given time. And the music is so deftly evoking those feelings. It rocks so much. <laughs> And uh, this helicopter cadence from the Balteus fight is also present in the track Watchpoint Alpha. And then the final track I want to talk about with any amount of specificity is uh, one called All Mind, which really to my mind is the culmination of all these kind of ideas of every sound in the piece evoking some bit of machinery. All Mind just has these gargantuan synth arpeggios that are just warbling on and off the pitch at any moment. Like, they've become so powerfully charged, they run the risk of jumping loose from the composition. And we've got these huge swells rising and falling as this thick arpeggio just continues uninterrupted. But then there is a second phase to the song where everything just begins to build on top of itself. The arpeggios get bigger, they get more aggressive. The machine creating this song has become too powerful. And we start to get this very recurrent kind of sawtooth sounding synth. And then Shoi Miyazawa puts their pedal to the floor. And the track kicks off, lifting the whole composition up into a new key and into a new BPM as the fight becomes even more frantic. Any notion of staying on the root pitch is completely gone. The synths are just wildly arpeggiating in every direction. And then we get these just thick synth hits. The machine is out of control. It's so good. That's my thesis about how they composed the Armored Core soundtrack to make it all sound like machinery. It rocks so much. And I would recommend if you've played Armored Core, go back and do some of those boss fights with all the VO and sound effects dropped to zero and the music maxed out. It's delicious. So yeah, if you liked this video, please leave a comment. What's your favorite track on the Armored Core soundtrack? Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We've got so much stuff over here, so much stuff for you to watch. Please watch it. And uh, I have been Jake Terrio. This has been another episode of Subpixel Spotlight. Thank you for watching.